Hello, my name is Rob, and today I'm going to show you how to add a uh, PAX terminal to your broad POS using Factor 4 gift cards. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we log into our broad POS. Okay, now that we're logged in, we're going to want to go over here and on the top left corner and select My Terminals. And then we're going to go to the right side and click on Add Terminal SN for Serial Number. So once the screen changes over, we're going to click on the drop down box next to Merchant Name and select your merchant. And now we're going to add our terminal serial number. You can find that on the back of your terminal next to SN. So I'll enter mine in here. And it asks you to enter it in twice. Once the serial numbers have been entered, it'll automatically populate the manufacturer name and model name. And then you just have to type in the location name. Okay, so now that I have the merchant name, location name, and the terminal serial number entered, I want to go ahead and click Submit. All right, the next screen will let us know that the terminal was added successfully. So I'm going to click uh, Now. All right, now on this screen, it's going to ask us to select our application. This is where we'll pick what credit processor application we're going to use. So for this video, I'm just going to use this Thesis app. And then I want to click on Submit down here on the bottom of the screen. All right, now it's letting us know that the application was successfully selected. I'm going to click Now. All right, so at this point, we're going to uh, enter in all of the parameters for Sparkbase. So the, all this information can be found on the My Merchant Admin portal. So I'm going to navigate to that screen now. I have it opened up as a tab here in my browser. So the first piece that we're going to need is our integration authorization number. So you can find that by clicking Show Advanced Options, scrolling down, and then copying the integration off. So once that's selected, we can go ahead and go back to our broad POS, and we'll paste it, and integration off, and we'll repeat the same process for integration password. All right, the next number we need is the client ID. That number can be found in the top right corner of your My Merchant Admin portal. So for me it's 999. And now we need the location ID and the terminal ID number. The location ID can be found here and is part of the name, the location in My Merchant Admin. And then the terminal ID number is generated in this box here on the right hand side. So for me, my PAX S80 is listed as terminal ID 2. So I'll navigate back to my broad POS. I'll enter in those last two pieces of information. Okay, so that is the, the merchant parameters. The next thing we want to make sure that we have entered is the primary authorization URL. And we want that to make sure that that is trans.api.factor4gift.com. The primary auth page should be backslash v is in victor for backslash transaction question mark. W for Walter, S for Sam, D for David, L for Larry. And the primary authorization port should be 443. All right, the next thing you're going to want to make sure that is configured is everything under your credit tab. So for me, it's thesis. 
So you just want to make sure that there's these of um, everything with the red asterisk has been entered in. Now for me, because I'm you, I'm just setting up a, a test. It doesn't have to be so accurate. All right. Now the next thing we want to go over is to EDC here on the right hand side. And we're going to want to scroll down to Sparkbase gift features. Now here we want to um, make maybe there's a couple changes we need to make. So next to add, we want to disable. And we want to do the same thing for refund. So we want add and refund both disabled. And we want to raise the pin floor limit to 1,000. Alright, so now for the video, I'm also going to set up the loyalty features in the same way. So we're going to disable add, disable refund, but we can leave the pin floor limit. Okay, so now we're going to review that we set up the features for both the gift and loyalty. And the information on our Sparkbase tab. So Sparkbase and EDC have both been configured. So now we can go ahead and click Submit, which is down here at the bottom of the screen. And that is going to complete um, adding a PAX terminal to your broad POS.